All right, what is up, fellow Geeks YouTube? It is Mick here from the East Coast Geeks. And I'm sorry about my little delay in between videos, um, but I've been working a lot. And so, yeah, <laughs> that explains that. But I wanted to show you guys another mod. I've done a video on this before, but they've updated it, and I kind of wanted to do it again uh, and do a little better review of it. Um, and it is the Telemachus, Telemachus mod. Um, which gives you flight that and things like that. Um, I'm going to show you it here, and then I'm going to have to switch my recording screen and record on the other one. But we'll do this first. Um, pretty simple. Basically, though, what it does is gives you a downlink for your telemetry data, fuel data, and everything like that. Um, and in theory, and I have, I did, we did it, me and Matt, with the old uh, version of KSP. You can have a mission controller who monitors this stuff, just to add to the realism. Uh, but quite simply, you have this stuff here. Uh, data link, open link, uh, disable will stop the link, enable, and open link will bring it up into a web browser. Now, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to cut to that and I'll show you the features of it through a launch and what everything looks like. So, I'm going to cut now. Alright, now if you configured uh, Telemachus correctly and you hit the open link button this should pop up in your web browser and this is what lets you take a look at it. It's got this screen here uh, semi-major axis, sentry, inclination, information and things such as that that you would need and then you also have these graphs which you can change by clicking this like I've got it set to al altitude, liquid fuel and oxidizer and g-force and you can save that as well. Um, you can also modify stuff there. I haven't messed around with the new version too much, but I'm going to go ahead and launch. Here, let me turn down the volume. Because KSP is extra loud with this new headset here. I'll turn that down. Go ahead and turn on SAS. And launch. And as you can see here, the graphs begin moving. Um, you can see the fuel going down. Altitude is increasing. G-forces you know, I don't have my G-Force set here. I'll have to add that. Now, some of these modules won't work unless you have it, but we'll go ahead and change to atmospheric density. I don't have that plugged in. It utilizes some of the in-game sensors uh, in the science area that you can attach. Uh, temperature won't work. Orbital velocity, um, that does work here. And it gives you time, so we're at 38 seconds. Uh, and that's the total time since I started the game. Go ahead and switch to electric charge. That'll give you the electric charge, of course. Pitch. Oh, it's a pretty cool mod. Oh, you can even get a map up here. It'll show your location over Kerbin. I do not know how I managed to do what I just did there. Um, yeah, it's a really, really cool mod, and it does add bit of realism to it if you're into that sort of thing for Kerbal Space Program, which I'm sure we all are since we play the game so much. But I wanted to show this to you. Um, I will post a link of where you can download this in the description below, so definitely check that out if you're interested in it. Um, we're looking forward. we just got to find a time when we're all available, me and Matt. Uh, we're going to try to do some live flights utilizing Twitch or YouTube, not sure yet, um, and running uh, Telemachus and doing like a cockpit only realism kind of thing, but that would be streaming live. Just got to figure out how to get this up live if you guys want to see this or the actual launch itself, but Matt would act as mission control and things like that. But I don't want to take too much of your time, but I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, and this sh will only work in the 32 bit, by the way. 64, it crashes. Just want to give you guys heads up on that. I had to install the 32 bit just to do this vid video. Excuse me. So, yep, oh, as you can see here, I've ran out of fuel, but, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching, and if you like this video, feel free to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe you can see some more of our Kerbal Space Program and East Coast Geek videos.